Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Katie Jane Hughes. I am a celebrity makeup artist. And these are some of my favorite things. First up, I'm gonna tell you about my skin prep and how I prep my skin for a celebrity client or for myself before makeup. I've got a little bit of makeup on. I did just, did just try and wash my face because I just shot a um, makeup video uh, all about sort of bronzy, glistening, <sighs> disheveled, grungy eyes. And now I was speaking to my um, partner who helps me build my YouTube stuff with some ideas on content. And one of the things was skin prep. So I thought, great, I'm gonna do my makeup again. I'm gonna start with skin prep. It's all about efficient working in this house. So I have a few things that I do to prep my skin before makeup. The first is washing my skin before I go to sleep the night before. Um, and that is actually the most important step. I like to really cleanse with an oil or a balm um, to get rid of any of the makeup that I've been wearing the day uh, before. I just cleansed my skin five minutes ago using the um, You Beauty Mantle Cleanser. And this is my skin with nothing on it after that. When I feel dry and dehydrated and dull, this is personal, this is not my kit on other people at the moment. I also wouldn't cleanse other people's face before I do the makeup with a cleansing balm. I would have them do that in their bathroom if they felt like they needed to. On myself, and maybe in my kit, if I have a mini one available for my kit, I would. On myself, a couple times a week, I will use this. Sometimes before makeup prep. Oh my God, my nails really match. Sometimes before makeup prep, sometimes at night before I go to bed. That's how it's technically supposed to be used. It's a, it's a liquid exfoliator from um, Ren Beauty and it is Ren Skincare and it's called uh, Ready Steady Glow. One thing that I will use on myself before makeup every day is an essence or some sort of something to make the skin wet and balmy before moisturizer, if I do moisturizer. And when I do moisturizer, it's because I'm wearing full coverage face. If I'm not wearing full coverage makeup, probably might not be wearing much moisturizer in at all, just SPF. So this product is designed to give you like a glow and a gleam and like a bouncy sort of supple kind of juiciness to the skin. You can use it on the neck, it's kind of like slippery and it's great and it's from Ren and I'll give you the name one more time it is called the smooth prep and plump essence so this will be your first step pre serums and so on and so forth just really nice and dewy radiant first step to skincare the next step that I would do again I would kind of assess what it is that I was going to do for my makeup if I was going to go full coverage I would go full coverage with the textures and the creams like with the AGE intensifier or um, the triple lipid from from SkinCeuticals however the other day I tried something that I really love I still love those two things by the way I tried something the other day that I really love and I'm going to use this instead um, it's called the Total Package from Epilogic. This is a brand based out of Brooklyn from an amazing doctor. Um, and I tried it and I loved the texture. It's like a glossy oil, kind of giving a bit of skin food, Will Later vibes, um, but newer. Um, Will Later Skin Food's beautiful product. It's been around for a hundred years. It's like tried and true. Um, but sometimes I love to try things that are um, new and different and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'll always love it later, but this is like a similar texture. I just want to give you something to liken it to. I want to just point out something that I did that you might not have noticed. I pressed all of the products that I just applied into the high points of my face first, and there's a big reason why. Me, personally, I know that I get shiny here throughout the day. I don't want to give my skin too much stuff here to sort of fight with as far as shine. If I put glowy serums here, if I put glowy moisturizers here, my skin is going to get more dewy there throughout the day because of those products probably, or at least that's what I've found. And I just want to preface, I'm not an, a skincare expert by any means. Like I leave that to Sophie Pavitt, Charlotte Parler, um, Shireen Idris, Caroline Hirons, to name a few. Um, I find that I know quite well how to prep my skin for makeup. So again, back to the depending on what I'm doing that day. This is actually sometimes enough for me, just that little bit of essence and the moisturizer. If I was going to be going out and about and living my day outside, being outside a lot, and the sun was shining, even if the sun isn't shining, you should still wear SPF, I would wear SPF. For the sake of content, I'm not going to put it on. So I might forego that moisturizer step with SPF if I feel like all of those slippery products under my foundation are going to make it like slip and slide and leave my face. Does that make sense? Um, 
so a few other things that I love that I have on my side are like mists and things like to keep my skin kind of in check so that you know when I'm trying new things that come through the mail from PR um, or for brands that I'm trying products for with an event with, with with the you know option of working with a brand are this this is SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Essence Mist I love this it's full of botanicals it's really good for redness helps calm the skin down this is a similar kind of concept but it's more simple in the ingredient factor this is just hypochlorous hypochlorous acid kind of has a little bit of a chlor chlorine smell but I kind of love that some people notice it some people don't I find it very very mild but this is amazing for sensitive skin great for eczema like actually approved by the eczema association I think um I think it literally says it on the bottle accepted by the national eczema association I don't like to I don't like to give falsification on my channel um, so I love these two things totally different price point totally different products but both really good for calming the skin um, and then another brand or another thing that I love to prep my skin with before makeup would be lip balm. Like lip balm is one of my sort of holy grail products. Like I can never leave house without it. This is just an example of something that can be used on the lips and actually on the skin. This is the new Coca Kind uh, balm. Came out a couple of weeks ago. You can use it on your cuticles, use it on your lips. You can use it on your eyelids for a gloss. You can use it on your cheekbones for shine. Whatever you really want to do with it, you can. It's full of ceramides, uh, occlusive skincare barrier. So that said, complexion. I'm not going to do complexion right now because I'm actually going to do a part two. I'm going to do another video. I'm, I'm going to do another video in a second talking about my three favorite concealers and I actually want to show them on my skin. So I'm not going to, I don't want to wash my face again because um, I will get very red and sensitive. Um... I typically would now, oh, my video processed, woo. My video, my, I would typically now be like, okay, what am I gonna put on my skin? If I wanted to put a full coverage, let me just use double wear from Estee Lauder an example, on my skin, I would absolutely put more moisturizer down because it's gonna make that double wear go on a little bit more luminous because I'm, I'm normal skin tone. If somebody's, I'm a normal skin type. If somebody is very, very oily, they might not need to over hydrate before double wear. If somebody is very, very dry, they need to hydrate even more than me. That makes sense? So I'm using Double Wear as like a hairspray-like foundation, which I actually love. It's an OG. It's the first foundation my mom ever bought me. Goodness knows why. Goodness knows why. I don't think my skin was like super like needed the coverage. But I think as a teenager, I think I just wanted that look maybe. Because it is like an amazing high coverage foundation. Um, great for stage. Great for TV. Great for all of the things. But also just great for like a special occasion, like a wedding. Great for, you know, feeling really put together that day. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I don't want to go on too much about this. As far as eye creams, I'll just share a couple of my favorites and maybe a couple more serums just so this video has a little bit more context. The Return Eye Concentrate from U Beauty. Loved using that. Um, I love the serum from, um, Major Fade Pillow Talk Derm. It's got this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gleam. Um, Shireen Idris is just a wizard, but like, look at that. Uh, what else have I got in my little bag of tricks? I've got like four or five lip balms here, eye drops, so on and so forth. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I've got my SkinCeutical serums, my hydrating B5 gel, the Floritin CF and the green one. I love anything green for redness relief, just in case. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Hope this was helpful. Pop any questions below. I also want to know what your favorite skincare products are to prep with and why. Um, we are a community full of beauty lovers here, so definitely share the wealth, share the knowledge. Don't, don't gatekeep nothing here. Okay, I am going to go and film another video right now because I have a house free because my guests are just out and about doing some touristing and shopping and thrifting, and so I can record. All right, love you all. Bye.